All right. This thing's been a freaking nightmare. I want to do some crazy stuff like that, but yeah, I'm the guy with the hover machine. The Versa Styles, what up? Anyway, so this is actually B. Clark's blade from the concrete. The concrete faceplate peeled. I'm pissed off about it. So I've been in reconstruction. This thing it was giving me a pain in the ass. So you guys want to know. First, what the hell does N mean? I know other D, diamond-like car carbon, C, G, graphite, and so on. So, all right. There's a couple things that you're not going to notice if you have the eight, 807s or whatever the hell they're called. Right here. See that? I call that the stubby. You know why I call it the stubby? Let me grab you a boost and show why. Look at that. No, that one's not the stubby one. The pointy one. Okay. That's the stubby too. They have a living fuck. Look at this old ass one. Okay, you can see the difference. The 807s have a longer lever. The low pro does not. Short. You gotta use a short lever. Then, when you put the spring in, you have to put the spring in first. The moment everybody never gets to see. You have to put the spring in front of that metal part. But this is what I just did. I put one of those little supreme grippers. I tightened the bottom left bolt down really tight. Because what's going to happen is it's not going to line up correctly because you have to just like the trimmer you have to get those two aligned so you have the spring looks like hell close up but it goes behind, not in front, behind, and then you have the two little chambers, and then what I did was I put the rubber in here, but here's one last little trick I got up my sleeve. A little sliv of rubber. Just a little sliv. Now that. Turn the clipper to the right. That little sliv is going to in like that so see that little notch let's try to slightly cushion that notch we have to be really careful um, I guess 
is if we hold it on an angle and tighten it, it'll go. So, hold on. 